Hello and welcome. Today we're going to talk about schedule variance, SV, as a part of the process control schedule. If you haven't done so already, you might want to review section 7.4.2.2 of the PMBOK guide. Some materials in this session are based on the PMBOK guide, sixth edition, in this example, using the terminology of the PMBOK guide, though earned value has been a long, around for a very long time. First, when we talk about schedule variance, we need to talk about two earned value terms. EV stands for earned value. It's the value based on the original budget of work complete as of today. A keyword there is complete, and the keyword there is today. PV stands for planned value. It's the value, again, based on the original budget of work we plan to complete as of today. Planned is a keyword there and also today. If EV equals PV, it means the project is on schedule. It means the work that is complete equals the work we plan to complete as of today. If EV is greater than PV, you tell me, are we ahead or behind schedule? We're ahead of schedule. We have more work complete than planned as of today. If EV is less than PV, you tell me, the project is behind schedule. We have less work complete than planned as of today. Make sure you understand these three ideas before you move on. SV stands for schedule variance. It is a measure of how much the project is ahead or behind schedule. Here we have this equation, schedule variance equals EV, meaning earned value, minus PV, meaning planned value. If schedule variance equals zero, you tell me what does that mean? It means there is no variance, or we might say the project is on schedule. If the schedule variance is greater than zero, meaning if the schedule variance is a positive number, it means we are ahead of schedule. The work complete is greater than the work scheduled. If SV is less than zero, now you tell me, what does it mean? It means the project is behind schedule. The work complete is less than the work scheduled. The project schedule variance equals $5,000. This means, so here we have a sample question for the PMP or the CAPM exam. Pause the video and answer the question on your own, and then we'll answer it together. My first question to you, is this about schedule or is it about cost? And since we're talking schedule variance, it's about schedule. And then the schedule variance is a positive number. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Well, that's a good thing. Let's go to A, the project is behind schedule. Well, if our project was behind schedule, our schedule variance would be a negative number. So A is wrong. B, the project is $5,000 over budget. B is about cost, not about schedule. So B is wrong. C, the project has $5,000 more work complete as of today than planned. I'm thinking C is going to be the best answer. D, the project is $5,000 under budget. We have no idea. The question only tells us about schedule variance not cost variance. Again, if I went through that too quickly, pause the video and really think about each of these answers. The project schedule variance equals $5,000. $5,000 is a positive number. So what I'm doing here is I'm reviewing the last question, not just verbally, but in writing for you. Simplistically, this is good. We have more work completed as of today than we have scheduled. I give you the equation, schedule variance equals EV minus PV. Schedule variance equals work complete minus work planned to be complete 
as of today, if the schedule variance is a positive $5,000, based on the original budget, we have 5,000 more work complete as of today than we have scheduled to be complete as of today. So again, this slide explains the last sample question. Earn value is what is complete as today. Plan value, what should be complete. You can see our earned value is larger than our planned value. We are ahead of schedule. So here we have another sample question. The project schedule variance equals negative $3,000. This means, I would pause the video and answer the question. My first question to you, is this about schedule or cost? This is definitely about schedule. When I look at answer B, the project is $3,000 over budget. Answer B must be wrong, that's about cost. Answer D, the project is $3,000 under budget. That must be wrong. Again, that's about cost, not schedule. So now we're left with A and C. The schedule variance is a negative number. Is that good or bad? It's bad, it means we're behind schedule. So A is the right answer. C, the project has, has $3,000 more work complete as of today than planned. C is wrong. C describes a situation where we would be ahead of schedule, meaning our schedule variance would be a positive $3,000. This slide again explains in writing the last sample question, you might want to skip right over it if that was an easy question. If you struggled, then go through this slide in its detail. The schedule variance is a negative number. Simplistically, this is bad. We have less work completed as of today than we have scheduled. And you can continue on and read the rest of it. The earned value is the measure of what work is complete as of today. The planned value, this is what should be complete as of today. You can see we have less work complete than we should. Our schedule variance is a negative number. So let's review. If the schedule variance equals zero, the project is on schedule. Schedule variance equals EV minus PV, meaning it equals the work complete minus the work planned to be complete. If the SV is zero, we've completed 100% of the work that is scheduled to be completed today. Earn value, what is complete. Plan value, what should be complete. If they equal each other, we are on schedule, or we might say the schedule variance equals zero. If the schedule variance is a positive number, the project is ahead of schedule. I give you the equation again, EV minus PV, work complete minus work planned to be complete as of today. If it's a positive number, we've completed more than 100% of the work that is scheduled to be completed today. Here we see our earned value, what is complete. Here we see our planned value, what should be complete. You can see we have more work complete than we planned. Our schedule variance is a positive number. So here I have an XY bar chart, a different way to really look at this. The blue line is the planned value across the life of the project. The red line is the earned value or how much work is complete. The vertical dotted line is today. The blue oval, this is what should be complete as of today, meaning our planned value. The red oval is what is complete as of today. We've completed more work than planned. This would be a positive schedule variance. We are ahead of schedule. If the schedule variance is a negative number, the project, schedule, the project is behind schedule. Schedule variance equals EV minus PV. Schedule variance equals work complete minus work planned to be complete. Schedule variance is a negative number. We have completed less than 100% of the work that is scheduled to be completed. 
here's the earn value, what is complete, here's the plan value, what should be complete. Our schedule variance is a negative number. We have less work complete than planned as of today. Here we see a diagram, but it looks different than the last one. The blue line is the planned value over the life of the project. The red line, the earned value. The blue oval is our planned value. So remember the dotted line vertical is today. We should have this much work complete. We do have this much work complete. Therefore, our schedule variance is a negative number. We have more work planned than completed. Based on the diagram, what is the project status? So pause the video and answer the question. I'm going to get started with schedule variance. Schedule variance equals EV minus PV. Now some of you are saying there's no numbers on the diagram, Aileen. Don't worry about numbers. The EV is greater than the PV. And again, always look at as of today. So the schedule variance is a positive number. We're ahead of schedule. Pause the video if you don't understand what we just described. Now let's talk about cost. Cost variance equals EV minus AC. EV up here, AC here. The EV is greater than the AC. Therefore, the cost variance is a positive number. We have more com work complete than we spent to complete it. This is a very typical question for the PMP and or the CAPM exam. I hope this video helped you and we'll see you back soon.